Hello everyone, uh, today we are going to grade 6 and this is module 4. This is going to be the final session, the session 3 uh, for this module. Uh, the prose is a letter from Obama to his daughters and the poetry is a song from my incomparable mother. Uh, so for the opening what we are going to do is we are going to learn meanings of different words. Uh, this will be again uh, recollecting what the students have already learnt in the previous sessions. Uh, they will be learning new words and they will be recollecting a lot of new words that they have earlier learned. Uh, so there will be a display sheet with different words. There are around 20 words, um, new words taken from the two chapters. This will be put up in the classroom and then the students will be in pairs and they will be given a sheet with different meanings of words. Okay. Uh, so this, there's all these meanings of 20 words also given with a blank where they have to write the word. So they have to go to the display sheet and they will see all the words and they have to figure out uh, which word is for which meaning. So when they see the word, they take that word and they write it down in this blank next to the meaning of the word. And they do this in pairs and this is going to help them recollect the words that they have learnt in the story and in the poem. Uh, this is going to be the opening. Now we move to the main creation. Uh, for the main creation again, they will recollect the contracted forms of words that they had learned in the previous session. And they are also going to learn uh, and practice how to read out loud poetry and, uh, and different uh, plays. So for this activity, what they're going to do is they're going to give them a handout. Uh, this, again, for this activity, they'll be in pairs. And there's like a small uh, dialogue that is given to the students. So what the students do is first, they read it out and they change. They convert all these contracted forms into expanded forms. So if there's a contracted form of I, they, they change it and make it I have. So they do this uh, conversion for the entire um, dialogue. All these, like, there are around four to five lines. They do it for every line and then what they do is then they read it out loud. They take characters. So there are two characters in these dialogues. So what they do is each person takes a character and they read it out loud uh, with different emotions and they also make sure that whatever they've, they've uh, changed, the, con the contracted forms, they have changed and made it into expanded uh, form. They read it out loud in the expanded form. And after they've all done that, <coughs> the facilitator can uh, pick a few volunteers and the volunteers can come up front and read out these lines in an emo like in with the right emotion and also make sure that these contracted forms are expanded. So this is going to be the first part of the main creation. Uh, now we move to the uh, second part or the, even the closure. So this is going to be an activity before the reflection. Uh, so for this activity what you're going to do is you're going to read out the sonnet that is in the text, a sonnet for my incomparable mother. Uh, they're going to read out the sonnet and then the, the facilitator is going to tell the students uh, what a sonnet is. So you're giving them an idea of the poem. Uh, so basically a sonnet is a poem with 14 lines. So you ask the students, do you know what a sonnet means? And you can explain that a sonnet is like a poem. But the thing is that they have 14 lines with a, with a, a specific uh, rhythm to it. So that's a sonnet. So you explain what a sonnet is to the students. And then you ask them if they've ever written poetry. And then what you do is you give them some time and ask them to write a poem or a sonnet for someone that they love. So they can look at this poem that's already there, this sonnet that's already there. They can take that for reference and they can write a sonnet for someone they love. Now they can do it individually or if they want. If it's too difficult for them to write, they can even uh, pair up. Two students can write one sonnet. And the thing is they have to take this and give it to the person whom they've written about. Or they can even keep it to themselves but you can also encourage them that they've written about a friend or if they've written about a teacher to actually give them the poem that they wrote about them. Uh, just make sure that you give them the time to write and if they don't uh, are not able to finish within the time, ask them to take it home and finish the sonnet and then they can give it to the person that they've written about. Uh, so this is going to be this is going to help them understand how a sonnet is written and also uh, since they're going to go back and refer to the sonnet that's already there, they get given a chance to see how the poem is written and they see how they can replicate uh, the sonnet. Uh, so this is going to be the closure activity. Uh, also, this is part, the actual activity also is part of it because they're going to go home, continue working on the poem and also uh, give it to the person that they have written about. Now finally, we move to the reflection. Now, this is the final session for this module and this is the final session for this year. So what you're going to do is you're going to ask them to take the reflection notebooks, express what they've uh, learnt over the last few sessions like they do every time in the third session. And then what you do is you put up a chart paper. So basically there's two chart papers. Put up these chart papers. Either you can uh, stick it together and put it up or you can even like have it separately in two sides of the classroom and ask children to think of what all they've learned through the year through the four modules and how they felt during the classes did they enjoy it 
Did they have fun? Did they learn new things? Ask them different questions and then tell them to go and paint or draw or even write a few words in these chart papers. So you can, they can all go together and just uh, feel free to uh, use the colors that they have and do this be creative and ask them to express how they felt about the, all the session. So there's going to be a final uh, way to just close the module or close this program for this year. So just ask them different questions that they could recollect and if they've enjoyed and ask them to like you know uh, continue to play games and you know look at when they learn different sessions ask them to recollect what they've done in these uh, four modules uh, over the past few months and then ask them to express it down in these in the paper. So this is going to be the final reflection that they're going to do for this uh, module and this is and this, this and this way you will end the session. So for this session we do not have any digital sessions, it's just going to be these activities and the reflection towards the end of it. So this is session 3 for module 4 for 6th grade. Thank you.